Hi, welcome to Kraku. And in this video, we'll be exploring one of the most popular concepts in the CAT exam. Selling price, cost price, basically profit and loss with percentages. Let's get to the formulas and then we'll solve some questions with those formulas just to get a complete understanding of how it's done. So the formulas are fairly simple. You would have seen them while solving for percentages. So profit is nothing but the selling price minus the cost price right uh, let's say a vendor has paid some uh, some cost price right and he sells it for about some amount of selling price the difference between that is the profit that a vendor makes right a profit percentage is nothing but uh, profit or loss divided by the cost price right so profit percentage or loss percentage is basically the difference between the selling price and the cost price this is for profit and if it is loss since cost price will be higher than selling price this is the loss that a vendor makes so profit percentage will be equal to selling price minus cost price divided by the cost price the so profit on the cost price made and similarly loss percentage will be cost price minus selling price divided by the cost price so loss on the cost price whatever it costed the vendor now usually uh, if you see in shops or wherever the item is marked up right when i say marked up it is marked up with respect to the cost price and then they give you some sort of discount and then that's the selling price so if the cost price is c and they mark it up they mark it by some percentage to m and if m is the marked price they give a discount on m which becomes the selling price so the profit is still selling price minus cost price it's just that the items are marked higher as something called marked price upon which they give a discount or they don't give a discount if there is no discount when there is no discount marked price is equal to selling price if there is discount there's a discount on the marked price which becomes the selling price total increase in price due to two subsequent increases of x percent and y percent is x plus y plus xy by 100 percent which is nothing but let's say a uh, item is marked at x right and uh, it is increased by x percent which is nothing but 1 plus x by 100 now uh, now the item is marked up again by y percent which is 1 plus y by 100 Right, expanding this, you will get x, which is the cost price, x plus y plus x y by hundred. So these are the basic formulas. It's fairly simple. Just like uh, these questions might be slightly calculative intensive. So let's look at some questions. Mr. Akshay owns a sports shop in Delhi from the past fifteen years, but due to the pandemic, his business got affected and his sales went down exponentially. So the post so post lockdown to improve his sales, he decided to offer a discount of 25% on each bat. He also gave one free bat for every three bats. So one free for every three bats. Find the price above the cost price at which the bat bat was marked if he made an overall profit of 44% in selling the entire stock of bats. Now, in this question, it's given that he's giving one free bat for every three bats bought. So, let's assume that Mr. Akshay had a total stock of four bats. Let's say total stock. Let's say each bat costed C, right? So, total cost price will be 4C. Now, let's say each bat was marked at M. Marked price was M. Now, he is giving a discount of 25%. So, after the discount, the price will become 0.75 M. Now, let's say a person X comes and buys 3 bats. And for 3 bats, the price is 0.75 M into 3, which will be equal to 2.25 M. 
but he'll also get one more bat free. So the entire stock of four bats will be cleared, right? So the total cost price will be 4C and the total selling price will be 2.25M because someone buys three bats and he gets the fourth bat free. Now I've just taken for this, for the sake of the question, stock has four bats. It can be 4X or it can be 4Y, any multiple of four, just to make the calculation a little more easier. So total cost price is 4C, total selling price is 2.25M. But it's also given that he made an overall profit of 44%. So that means after selling the four bats for overall of 2.25M, he still made 44% on the 4C. So let's write up the equation. 2.25M, which is the total selling price, minus 4C, which is the total cost price, divided by 4C is equal to 44% or 044 Right, so bringing this here and taking this here, we will get 2.25m is equal to 4c into 1.44. Because 4c into 0.44 plus 4c, taking 4c common, it will be 1 plus 0.44, which is equal to 1.44. Right, so uh, expanding this, we will get 4 into 1.44 will be 5.76 will be equal to 2.25 M. Now we need to find out the relation between M and C so we can find out at about what percentage is the marked price than the cost price. Right. So by taking 2.25 on the other side we will get M is equal to 5.76 C divided by 2.25. Right. So by solving this we will get 576 by 225 C right solving this further we will get the answer as m is equal to 2.56 so m is equal to 2.56 c the question is asked about what percentage is the mark price over the cost price so it would be 2.56 minus 1 into 100 because we are asked for percentage so it would be 1.56 into 100 be 156 percent so the answer is b let's go on to the next question the price of an item is marked 20 percent more than its cost price so let's write the equation while we're reading the question so let's say cost price is equal to x the item is marked 20 percent so mark price will be 1.2 x which is nothing but 1 plus 20 by 100 which will become 1.2 x what is the average of the minimum and maximum discount percentage that the seller can offer so that he makes a profit not more than 10 but not less than 5? So let's say profit percentage is not is more than 5% but not more than 10%. Right? This is what is given to us. Right? Not more than 10% but not less than 5%. Right. So, the cost price is X, right? So, the selling price can range from 1.1X to 1.05X. I got this because uh, profit is made on the cost, cost price and uh, maximum profit can be 10% and minimum profit can be 5%, right? So, the selling price, if the profit is 10%, will be 1.1X. Profit is 5%, the selling price would be 1.05x. So, these are the two extremes. Now, the discount given would be nothing but, so this is the mark, this is the mark price and this is the selling price. So, for case 1, where the selling price is 1.1x, right, discount given would be 1 by 0.1 by 1 by 2 which is basically 1 by 12 in percentage it will be 100 by 12 so for case 2 where the selling price is 1.05 x a discount would be 0 0.15 with 0 0.15 is nothing but 1.2 x minus 1.05 x so we we'll get 0 0.15 x here Right, so that's how we got 100 by 12. So this is 0.5x, and the cost price is 
the mark price is 1.2x we want to find the discount so will this will be 15 by 120 right so uh, 5 3 is 524 1 by 8 and by percentage wise it will be 100 by 8 percent right so taking average of these two percentages right so this will not be nothing but 12.5 percent and this will be 8.33 percent so average of 8.33 plus 12.5 divided by 2, we will get 10.41. Go to the next question. The cost price of a doll is 120. So CP is equal to 120. Kieran marks it up to 1.5 by 150 percent. It is not marks it up by 150 percent it marks it up to 150 percent so if the cost price is 120 the mark price would be 150 percent of 120 it's not by 150 percent that time it would be 250 by 100 and right? this is marks it up to 150 percent so mark price will turn out to be 150 by 100 which would be 1.5 1.5 into 120 which will be 180. So, mark price is equal to 180. What discount percentage must he offer so that he incurs no profit or no loss? So, no profit or no loss is breaking even. That means he sells the item at the cost price itself, right? So, if this is the marked price and this is the cost price, he has marked it up by 150 percent. So, he's marked it up by a range of 60. 60 rupees it's given 60 rupees so it's marked it up by 60 rupees so he also needs to give a discount of 60 rupees to sell the price sell the product at the same cost price so that discount would be which would be 100 by 3 which would be 33.3 percent right we can verify this Right, so if the discount percentage is 33.3 percent, that means the item has been sold for two thirds the marked price. So, two thirds the marked price will be two thirds of 180, which would be equal to 120. So, the answer is 33.3. Let's go on to the next question. If the market markup percentage and the discount percentage for an item are equal, and the profit or loss percentage on the sale of the item is 36 percent find the numerical sum of markup and the discount percentage right so basically it's given in the it's an item let's say item costs x right and it has been marked up and discount by the same let's say markup percentage is by y percent and also they give a discount of y percent Right, and they make a profit or loss of 36 percent. So let's write up the equation. So let's say this is the cost price, and they we mark it up by y percent. So this will be the equation. But then we again give a discount of y percent. Right. So this is what we need to find out, and this is equal to profit or loss of 36 percent. By expanding this, we will get x. 1 minus y square by this is just uh, a plus b into a minus b we will get a square minus b square now we can see that it is 1 minus y square by 10,000 so the multiplication factor of x is less than 1 because we're subtracting some amount from 1 and the y square will always be positive so this part will be positive so we're subtracting it from 1 so that means the seller which this will become the selling price the selling price is less than the cost price because the overall after marking a y percent and uh, reducing it by y percent the seller makes a loss because the overall equation will be x into 1 minus y square by 10000 so this is the selling price and the multiplication factor is less than 1 that means it's a loss so by equating it so now we know it's a loss of 36 percent x minus y square by 10,000 is equal to loss of 1 person. So, right. 
So taking x on either side, this uh, 0 0.36 I got by 1 minus 36 by 100. So this is equal to 0 0.64 is equal to 1 minus y square by 10,000. Right, bringing it on that side, we will get 0 0.36, which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.64 is equal to y square by 10,000. Right, taking the square root on both the sides, we will get 0 0.6 is equal to y by 100. So, y will be equal to 60. Now, we know that the markup percentage and the discount percentage is same. So, markup will be equal to 60 percent, discount is also equal to 60 percent. Now, we are asked to find the numerical sum, it will be 120. Answer is C.